Grayson, come here. You're, you're, you're all over the place, buddy. If we're going to do this, you got to be ready for this, okay? So, listen. It's been a while. I know you're a little camera shy. But, but the people here, they want to see you, okay? So these glasses, I'm going to... I don't think these glasses would fit you. Actually, they would... Don't lick the glasses. Anyway. Dogs. What is up, everybody? Grayson here, the the doggy guru or something like that. Anyway, Bobby here, Nintendo guru. Grayson here, the doggy guru. Right? Yeah. You don't care. Anyway, it's like it's like Sean Capri talking to Link. Just ignores all the time. Doesn't really care what's going on. Do you, do you not want to hear this story? You just you just want to eat. Anyway, we're gonna do some Nintendo talk. Take the top Nintendo stories of the day. Talk about it. Discuss them. Break them down. Give my opinions on them. Almost forgot that. So, here we go. So at this point, Grayson has exited the building. He, he basically told me like he needed to go. So, he's gone. But anyway, let's jump into this. A couple days ago, I did a story about Philip Mewson uh, of IGN, who had plagiarized the story or a review for Dead Cells. And about 30 to 40 minutes after I did that video, IGN actually, in my opinion, did the right thing, and they fired him. They re they relieved him of his duties. Um, man, since that moment, and 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 probably a little before that, the barrage and the attacks were relentless. People took to Twitter, just started attacking this guy all over the place. And and the thing of it is, is this, guys. I'm pretty sure that he feels really like garbage right now. He feels like probably the bottom of the barrel and he doesn't necessarily need to pile on um i don't agree with what he did at all i also don't agree with the attacks i don't agree with the fact that people are actually going to the nvc vlog where he was introduced to everybody as the new nintendo editor and you go through the comments and people are attacking him people are attacking people that at the time welcomed him and congratulated him on the job like, it is ridiculous the level some of you people are going to, to do this attack and to, to maliciously destroy this guy. Here's a guy who had a dream, pursued the dream, had the dream become achieved, and lost it all. Again, I'm not condoning anything he did. I think it was garbage. I think the fact that it's starting to come out a little bit now that he was doing it before he got the job at IGN when he had his own YouTube channel is garbage. But at the end of the day, he has lost everything. If you think for a second, it's going to be easy for him to get another job. If he can even land another job in this world, you're sadly mistaken. He doesn't need to be kicked while he's down. I just think that it's, it's slimy of people to do like, you know, you're you're not any better than what he did, in my opinion. The guy is beaten, bruised, hurt. Has basically he's, he's basically gone radio silent on social media. Again, I don't blame him. Um, but it's just crazy to think that we, as a society, feel the right thing to do here is to attack this guy, and I think that's wrong. Absolutely, think it's wrong. And I disagree with it. So, I just wanted to say that little bit. That like, hey, he got what he deserved. Move on. Let it go. And stop the attacks. Uh, Boomstick Gaming, the guy who had his review ripped off, started his own Patreon. Uh, his subscriber base went way up. Uh, his followers on Twitter, way up. Um, he, in the end, the good guy won. Everything that was supposed to happen, happened. The guy got credit for doing the review. The proper guy got credit for doing the review. I'm pretty sure he'll be okay at this point. And I just feel like we can all take a step back and, and digress from the attacks and just let things be as they be. That's my opinion. I could be wrong. I've been wrong in the past. But I just feel like 
you guys can slow down a little bit. Take a deep breath. Don't be so uh, judgmental and so combative with the attacks. That's just my opinion. So let's move on. So back in the Wii U era of Nintendo, Ubisoft put a game out called Child of Light. Uh, a great little RPG game, side-scrolling. Um, and this game was really good. It was by UB, UB Art and the same kind of art style that's like a Rayman and stuff like that. Like, really, really cool. But apparently, I'm reading an article off Nintendo, my Nintendo News, and they're saying, we found out yesterday that the beautiful Child of Light is coming to the Nintendo Switch, plus, as well, Valiant Hearts. Valiant Hearts is a, is a beautiful game. Uh, set in, I believe, the World War II era. It's been announced that these games are coming to the Nintendo Switch. I urge people to get them when they come out because they're really good. But a few people on social media were complaining that these are fairly old titles. And what's the need for these to come? Uh, but they conceded that they are ultimately good games, which they are. They're great games and all that. So apparently Ubisoft put a tease out. And in that tease, they're kind of hinting that Child of Light 2 is on the way, which would be pretty awesome when you think about it, you know? And it's, I think people are getting really excited. And this, if this is a thing, this is a pretty awesome thing. I hope it's true. I guess we'll find out very soon, but time will tell. But I can't wait and I hope it is true. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie, I, I hope it's true. And in the realm of, I, I can't even, I can't even believe that Nintendo has to do this Nintendo had to issue a statement stating that Luigi did not die. So anybody that watched the Smash Direct yesterday, you saw ultimately the Grim Reaper from Castlevania come in, slice Luigi down, cut him dead, dead, his soul popped out, his spirit popped out, and then at the very end of that trailer for Simon Belmont, Luigi starts to fall back into his own body, and he stops, but whatever, at the end of the day, like... Did Nintendo really need to tell you he's alive and well? Did Nintendo really need to put a press release out? We can't even get press releases from Nintendo on what other games are coming to Nintendo Online. But wait a minute, we'll put a press release out to say Luigi's okay. What is going on in this world? Like, this is the priority? This is the high priority news that Nintendo needs to put out? Nintendo UK versus Twitter channel put Luigi is okay. That's what they tweeted out. I can't. I just can't. I cannot believe that this is the, this is what we're getting from Nintendo. These are the, the uh anyway. So that is all. Thank you guys for watching today's episode of Nintendo Guru Daily. Please, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it with your friends, let everybody know about it. Follow me Instagram, Twitter at Nintendo Gurus. Check me out over on NintendoGuru.com. Peace out, Preston.